Hello, I'm Chen Wang. I'm going to talk about multi-class 3D object detection within volumetric 3D computed tomography baggage security screening imagery. This is a joint work with my colleagues, Neil Bomick and Toby Bracken from Department of Computer Science, Durham University. A few words about the background. This work arises from a real-world application in airports. When you go to airport before boarding, your bags and suitcases need to pass through an X-ray machine as shown in the image. The X-ray machine scans your baggage and generates an image like those shown in the bottom. Then, human operators will use their expertise to find out any potential prohibited items in the image. Currently, 2D X-ray machines are deployed in most airports in the world. In our previous work, we have developed automatic algorithms for prohibited item detection in 2D X-ray images and achieved high performance. However, one limitation in 2D X-ray images is that the prohibited items can be occluded by other objects in a cluttered image. One option to alleviate this problem is to use 3D CT images which can provide more information to the human operators to avoid possible missing detection. With 3D CT images, one can rotate and check the image from different perspectives, which inevitably take more time. Our work aims to alleviate these issues by developing and evaluating approaches to automatic prohibited item classification and detection within 3D volumetric CT volume for aviation security screening. There are some related work to 3D object detection in two areas autonomous driving and medical image analysis. For autonomous driving, the data are usually in the form of point clouds or RGD plus depth. And the target objects of interest are mainly the road participants, including vehicles, pedestrians, cyclists, and so on. For medical images, there are CT, MRI, containing organs and indicators of different diseases. There exist many works of 3D object detection in these two areas we can take advantage of. But at the same time, we need to be aware of the challenges posed by our spatial application. Different from the target objects and autonomous driving, and medical image analysis, the prohibited items in baggage can be of various sizes and orientations in the baggage. The other piece of related work is our previous work on baggage screening. In this work, we focused on the simplified single class object detection problem. As a result, each model can only recognize one specific prohibited item. By contrast, in this paper, we're considering using a unified framework for multi-class prohibited object detection. We use one of the most successful object detection frameworks, RetinaNet, and adapt it to 3D scenarios. As shown in the figure, Given a 3D city volume as an input, 3D ResNet blocks are used to extract multi-scale features. The features are 
aggregated for class prediction and bounding box regression in the last layers. Different data augmentation techniques are employed in our experiments to alleviate the data scarcity problem. We use random flipping, including both horizontal and vertical flipping, and random rotation. In particular, we use a 3D thread image projection technique to synthesize new baggage containing prohibited items. The basic idea of 3D tip is to combine a target object CT volume with a benign baggage CT volume in a reasonable way. More details of this technique can be found in the reference. We conduct experiments on a bespoke dataset which contains five target objects bottle, handgun, binocular, glock frame, and iPod. 70% of the data are used for training and 30% for test. Three training test splits are randomly generated for reliable experimental results. Our experimental results are shown in the tables. In the first table, we present the experimental results when different ResNet models are used as a backboard. For each model, we report the precision and recall of each class and the mean average precision over all five classes. The results in the table demonstrate the best mean average precision is achieved by ResNet 50. The table in the bottom demonstrates the effectiveness of different data augmentation techniques. We can see that both Random flipping and random rotation can benefit the detection performance, and the probability of 0.2 is the optimal value for applying this data augmentation. We also investigate the effect of scaling and the angle size of retina net. The parameter of scaling factor is used to downsample the input CT volumes to reduce the computational cost during training. It is surprising that downsampled input can also benefit the performance when the scaling factor is 3. Downsampling by a factor of 4 will harm the performance due to the information loss. On the other hand, the anchor size used in the retina net framework also makes a difference to the detection results. More discussion can be found in our paper. Finally, we visualize the detection results by drawing 3D bounding boxes around the detected objects as displayed in the figure. We use different colors to indicate different object classes. The figure demonstrates the effectiveness of our method in multi-class 3D object detection in baggage screening CT imagery. On the other hand, we also observe a false positive and a false negative as shown in the figure. False positive will raise unnecessary alarm and false negatives will lead to security issues. To conclude, we have proved the multi-class prohibited object detection problem can be addressed by our proposed approach. 3D tip and other data augmentation techniques are beneficial to the detection performance. In the future, we'd like to increase the scale of our datasets in terms of the number of city volumes and object classes. Besides, we will compare the performance of 3D models and 2D models for prohibited object detection in 3D volumetric CT imagery. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, you can send me an email